Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy and today I'm going to give you tips on how to develop your whiskey palate. Whether you're trying to get more out of the experience, you want to develop a taste profile so you know which whiskeys you like the most and what to buy, or if you're trying to pick up those subtle little nuances in nose and taste, I'll give you seven different tips on how to develop your whiskey palate. By no means am I a whiskey expert. These are things that have just helped me along the way and they might help you as well. So let's get at it. All right, so the very first thing when you're first starting out, it seems kind of obvious, but it's often overlooked, is analyze what you're smelling and what you're tasting. It's something that's not done in everyday life. You're not always thinking about flavors, necessarily uh, breaking them down when you're drinking, and when you're eating. And a lot of people, when they grab a glass of whiskey for the very first time, and they smell it, and they just say, you know, it smells like whiskey, it smells like alcohol. Get yourself in the mindset of digging in deeper and dissecting exactly what those alcohol notes are what those flavors are that are coming out of the glass. Start with oak. Every single whiskey is matured in oak. Start with that. Where do you get the oak coming from? Is it, is it dry oak, more like a hickory, kind of like a smokiness to it, like a burnt wood? Start with the oak notes because every single whiskey will have those in it. The second thing you wanna do, also pretty obvious, get yourself a good nosing glass. The Glencairn is the most popular one. I really like the Stolzo glasses. The Copitas are also really nice. Anything that's kind of tulip shaped is going to condense the alcohol aromas into a point and give yourself a nice nose where you can pick up those little subtle nuances a little bit easier than you would in a normal glass. Number three is a big one when you're first starting out and that's knowing what flavors to look for in a certain whiskey. I mentioned oak earlier, that's a great starting point, but whiskeys vary so much that you really need to kind of hone in and see what kind of flavors you'd be expecting in a certain glass. Bourbon, for example, there's six main tasting notes that come up in the majority of bourbons, generally speaking, brown sugar, caramel, vanilla, cherry, oak, and spice. Those are kind of the six main ones that you'll find in a lot of different bourbons. So that's a great starting point. Scotch, a little more complicated. Matured mostly in ex-bourbon casks or ex-sherry casks or a combination of both. Those are the main types of maturation you're gonna find in Scotch whiskey. There's a couple ways to identify what your Scotch has been matured in. One, the label might say it right on here. I'm drinking Glendronic 12 year old. It says right in the front, matured in Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez casts. So I know that I'm looking for sherry notes here. If the label doesn't disclose what type of maturation the Scotch is in, check the official website. Maybe it says on there. If not, check whiskeybase.com. Huge database of so many different whiskeys. A lot of times they'll mention the maturation of a whiskey if it doesn't mention it on the label. Once you've got that information, check out a whiskey flavor wheel. I made one here myself out of this awesome coaster. So now that I know that I'm drinking Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso, I can check out my little flavor wheel coaster and check out kind of what flavors I could be expecting coming from this whiskey. A couple very common tasting notes coming out of these two types of sherry maturations, chocolate, nuttiness, dry red fruits, maybe a little bit of spice, a little bit of cinnamon in there. So once I've figured out what type of maturation my scotch is, I can then kind of keen in to what I should be expecting out of the bottle. Some labels go even further to give you some tasty notes right on the back. So for this Glendronic on the nose, they have creamy vanilla, ginger, autumn fruits. On the palate, rich oak, sherry sweetness, raisins, soft fruits, spicy with a medium length and dry finish. That's a great starting point, but just be aware of the power of suggestion. A lot of times when I'm drinking a whiskey, someone will throw it at a tasting note, say it's you know dark chocolate, and boom, I instantly get dark chocolate. Just be aware of that. It's something to note, and just be truthful to yourself about your own tasting notes. Every single person is different. Tasting notes are super subjective. Everyone is different. There's definitely a lot of notes that are shared commonly, but just be aware of the power of suggestion on some of these labels. Another great way to help dissect a whiskey is to watch or read a whiskey review. See what that person is coming up with with their tasting notes. See if you agree. See if there's something that they're mentioning that you might not be getting. Dig in there. See if you can pull it out. One of the best channels, obviously, on YouTube is Ralphie.com. Check out Ralphie's videos. Um, super educational. Really good uh, insight to the whiskey world. And definitely an educational uh, experience that you can help refine your palate with. Number five is something that helped me out quite a bit, and that's just writing down your tasting notes. Simply just jot down what you're nosing, what you're tasting from each whiskey. You can give it a score, it kind of creates this catalog of information that you can refer back to. It really helps you going forward, creating a profile of whiskeys that you like the most. It also helps you kind of create this vocabulary of language and descriptors, and it really helps you when you're trying new whiskeys and knowing if that's the profile that you like. 
I love referring back to my tasting notes of whiskeys that I've had before in case a new expression comes out I can kind of refer back to what I experienced in a previous bottling and a new bottling going forward and kind of see how it's changed over the time. If you've seen some of my reviews before, you know I go through this method. It really helps with my tasting notes and it helps with describing a whiskey and bringing it to you guys. Number six is something that's gonna help out whether you're a scotch drinker or even a bourbon drinker and that's familiarizing yourself with wine. There's so many bourbons finished in wine casks these days. Scotch, obviously a lot of scotches are matured in wine casks. Go out and grab yourself an Oloroso Sherry. Go grab a PX Sherry. Get a port, get some other fortified wines. Try those out, they're very inexpensive. You can get most of those bottles for under $10 and it really educates you in these finishes and these maturations. You'll know what you're getting. Try the different types of sherry wine. They vary greatly between the sugars and the grapes. It makes a huge difference in maturation as far as sweetness, as far as notes that you're picking up. So check out the wine section of your liquor store. Pick up a cheap bottle of sherry. Try it head to head with a sherried scotch. See if you can pick up the similarities. It's very educational and definitely helps you develop your palate. Number seven is the most obvious, but the most important experience. You cannot substitute experience in developing your palate. So how do you get the most amount of experience in the smallest amount of time without destroying your budget? Well, the first thing you can do is have a look for distillery sample packs. A lot of distillers will pull out their core range, small little either 100 mil, 200 mil bottles. You can really get a good idea for a core range of whiskey, doing it that way for an inexpensive price. Johnny Walker does it, Glenn Morangie does it, uh, Glenn Livick, Glenn Fittick. You can get all of these sample packs. Um, search them out. Sometimes Some markets, they're easier to find than others, but definitely are they, uh, they're ones to look for. Look around the holiday time. Sometimes these sample packs come out around then. It's a great way for to inexpensively try a lot of different whiskeys at once. Another great thing to do is to simply swap samples or swap bottles with your friends. You buy something, I buy something, we swap halfway through, I pour you something of mine, you pour me something of yours. Great way to inexpensively try more whiskey. Another great thing you can do is find liquor stores that pour samples. Here in Ontario, there's a couple big LCBOs that have tasting rooms. You can go in there and very inexpensively try a bunch of different whiskeys that they have up at the time. Or I know in the US, Total Wine, they'll have little stickers on certain bottles and they'll have those ones open. You can go to the tasting area and try those out. Great way to expand your palate and try a lot of different whiskeys for very inexpensive or for free. Another great thing you can do is join a whiskey club. Myself, I'm a member of the Toronto Whiskey Society where we have little meetups. We all pitch in some money. Um, there's some bottles that are purchased and we all get to try a lineup of whiskey. Obviously, we've been doing it over Zoom recently, but we've still been able to ship out samples and try them uh, all together. And it's a good way to kind of get feedback back and forth of we you know what someone's experiencing versus what you're experiencing. Great way to develop your palate. Lastly, check out some whiskey festivals. Go to some whiskey events. Here in Toronto, we have the Spirit of Toronto. Obviously they went virtual this year, but in the past, great master classes where it's like a lead tasting. It's uh, the main event is all you can drink, one flat rate, uh, balls to the walls, um, go around, try as much as you can. Again, great way to develop your palate. Try a lot of whiskeys um, in a short period of time. Try the delicate ones first, because by the end, uh, it just tastes like whiskey, um, but a lot of fun. And again, a great way to try a lot of stuff develop your palate as fast as you can. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you found it informative, give it a thumbs up. I've got a little giveaway here. My good friends at Highland Park have supplied me with some of their awesome notebooks. Love these, great quality, use them for all my tasting notes. They've given me some of their branded Glencairns, really nice stuff. And of course, I have my Super Social Club Scotch Maturation Flavor Wheel Coasters. I'm gonna do a little combo here uh, in a giveaway. One notebook, one Glencairn, one coaster, all you have to do to be entered to win. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what whiskey got you into whiskey. What was that one that opened your eyes up and kind of made you want to buy more and more? Uh, thumb up the video, comment, subscribe. You're automatically entered. Check out my Drink My Bar episodes that come out once a month. I'm going to name some winners in those episodes. So just comment down below. Uh, subscribe, like, you're entered. You can win a little combo pack here. Get yourself uh, on your way to developing your palate a little bit more. Thanks so much for watching, very much appreciated. Until next time guys, have a good one. Cheers.